Hey, this is Presh Walker. We have a quarter circle and a square inside the quarter circle. Two of the square's corners are touching radii of the quarter circle. The third corner is on the circumference and the fourth corner is in the interior and its distance to its nearest corner of the quarter circle is equal to two. From an adjacent quarter on the radius, the horizontal length to the corner of the quarter circle has a length that's equal to five. The question is what is the side length of the square equal to? This was posted on Reddit Ask Math with the title that this problem stumped the entire math department. Now in order to solve this, you are allowed to give an approximate value to three decimal places. You can use a symbolic or numerical solver. The problem was created by at dare to solve on Instagram and Twitter, and I think for Teleza and Wally for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To solve this problem, we will construct some triangles. Drop a perpendicular right here and say this side length is equal to B. Then let the other leg of this right triangle be equal to A. So then this length of five will be equal to A and five minus A. This right triangle with legs of A and B is exactly congruent to the right triangle that's on the center of this quarter circle. So this right triangle will have legs of B and A. Now we'll construct another congruent right triangle by dropping a perpendicular from the corner of the square right here. So this right triangle will have side lengths that's equal to B and A. Construct this radius of the quarter circle. Now, the radius of the quarter circle will be equal to B plus five. So this length will be equal to B plus five. So now we're pretty much ready to solve the problem. Let the side length of the square be equal to S. Now in this right triangle, we have a plus b the quantity squared plus a squared is equal to the square of b plus 5. In this right triangle here, we have b squared plus the square of 5 minus a is equal to 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Then in this right triangle here, we have a squared plus b squared is equal to s squared. Now you could work through these equations. You'll end up with a quartic equation in a. You'll eventually solve it and you'll need to get an approximate value for A, then you'll get an approximate value for B, and you can solve for an approximate value of S. But since we can use a numerical solver, let's just plug these three equations into Wolfram Alpha. We get the following real solutions, but we wanna make sure that all of these lengths A, B, and S are positive values. We don't want any negative values. So we will eliminate the first three possibilities and we are left with the solution. S is approximately equal to 4.120. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.